Hello everybody. Welcome to an insightful video on key account manager interview questions and answers from career right. Account managers are the key professionals in any business who nurture the important accounts and help them grow. These key accounts are the customers that contribute a large chunk to your business. So, whether you target this role in e-commerce, retail, SaaS or any other sector, know that you are targeting one of the key positions in that organization. So, your interview is definitely going to be intense. Today, let's see some important situational questions that are usually asked to the candidates interviewing for this role. Your answers to these questions help the interviewers get a peek into your ability to apply your knowledge and ascertain your real-world problem-solving acumen. Every moment of this video is very carefully curated and packed with the wisdom to help you sail through those critical interview moments successfully. So promise yourself, no skipping, no shortcuts. Get yourself a notepad and a pen to take down the things that you find important and emerge as interview-ready account managers. Ready? Fantastic. Let's start. Question number one. Key account managers usually handle multiple accounts at a time. How do you ensure that all key accounts receive the required attention? Now see, this is a situation that almost every account manager would resonate with. And this is a question that is almost always asked to all the candidates in the interview. So to answer this question, you have to understand that while the key to manage multiple accounts lies in prioritizing the work and organizing it well, as an account manager, you will find that you have to stay flexible to handle any unexpected situations that may show up. At the same time, you should be able to harness the power of technology and collaborate with your cross-functional teams to leverage their expertise. So, to answer this question, you can say, yes, an account manager always faces the challenge to work on multiple accounts simultaneously so that each of them receives the desired attention. And many a times, when the clients are in different time zones than ours, it becomes all the more challenging. However, taking a systematic approach has always helped me. I try to prioritize the accounts based on their significance to the organization and set up a clear objective to achieve for each of them. It ensures that I don't get distracted. However, I have learned with the experience that an account manager should always stay flexible because we never know when an unexpected situation would arise with a client, demanding immediate attention. The next thing that really helps me is technology. So, technology plays a really very important role in my work life by keeping me organized. In fact, data analysis has helped me tremendously in identifying the new trends and opportunities for my clients and in making more informed decisions, maximizing the profits for them. Managing the clients in a different time zone becomes all the more challenging and needs effective communication. I prefer to proactively initiate the communication with them at the start of their day, giving them a clear status update or instructions they might need to collaborate effectively. And as I just mentioned, account management is a collaborative work. So, I also maintain strong interpersonal relationship with my colleagues in the cross-functional teams also. This ensures that I am able to leverage on their expertise whenever I am in need. In addition to all this, Senior account managers usually have a team working with them. So, delegating the tasks is another thing that has helped me free up my time for other important activities. So, in a nutshell, I would say account management is a dynamic task. And if an account manager wants to give each of the accounts its due value, adhering to these principles is the key. So, you see, how I have shown the application of each of these important practices during my work day and explained how it actually helps me. When you explain things like this, the interviewers are able to understand that you have not just bugged up things, you really understand what you are saying. And that is why this approach of explaining things in detail really helps you score some brownie points during the interview. Okay, let's move on to question number two now. And our question number two is, have you ever been in a situation where you successfully retained a key account that was at a risk of churning. How did you go about securing their continued partnership? Now see, retaining your key accounts is another important responsibility of an account manager. 
So if you are preparing to interview for one such position, do expect this question and prepare yourself to answer it well. But before you are able to take any actions to retain the account, you need to understand that you should be able to predict the churn in the first place. So I would advise you to answer this question in two parts. The first part being, how did you or would you predict the churn? And number two, the actions you would take to prevent the churn. If you have already been in one such position, you can talk about your experience. However, if you have never been in such a situation, provide a logical answer. Here's a sample answer to help you. Yes, I encountered one such situation in a previous role at an e-commerce company. This was a big retail client selling its products to our platform. Though the client didn't say anything verbally, I was able to sense it through their actions, which were all a sign of potential churn. While analyzing the data, I realized that their revenue was dropping consistently over the months. This particular client had a reputation of consistent engagement. But there was a halt in introduction of new products and reduced replenishment of the old ones. To address this challenge, I conducted a thorough analysis of the client's data, including sales figures, product performance, and customer interactions. This data-driven approach allowed me to identify a clear decline in their product visibility on our platform, which was enabling competitors to gain a foothold. This analysis clearly suggested their dissatisfaction. So I initiated the discussion with them and inquired if they were considering switching to the competitor. Since I knew where the problem was, I suggested them a revitalization plan. This included getting a new pricing strategy in place, revamping the product listings for better visibility, and bundling their products with complementary products to increase the sales potential. For more support initially, we provided them a dedicated member from the support team for smooth transition and quick support they may need initially. It took a while to regain their trust. But once they started seeing the sales recover, they were very happy and renewed the collaboration. Basically, I have experienced that it is one's ability to analyze the data and predict the churn that allows them to deal with this situation in time. So, you see how I have given a step-by-step -step approach one can take to handle such cases and woven it into a story. If you can also do it, this question can really help you gain an edge over others. Okay, let's move on to the third one now. This question number three is about another important thing in the life of any account manager. And the question is, managing communication and emails effectively is a crucial part of an account manager's role. Do you think inbox zero is really possible to achieve here? Okay, so first of all, for those of you who don't know what is inbox zero, Inbox zero is a productivity term which refers to the ideal state of having a tidy and well-organized email inbox. It ensures that there's no clutter in your mailbox and no critical communication gets missed out. To answer this question, you can say, well, this is an ideal situation for any account manager to achieve, but I've experienced that it is usually difficult to achieve 100%. However, I try to get there through some ways. And my ways are prioritizing the tasks and dealing with the urgent communication promptly. Then I also rely on folder and labeling system that I've implemented in my inbox. It allows me to organize my mailbox efficiently and effectively. This structure allows me to locate a discussion related to a project, client or issue very easily. Then I also rely a lot on automation tools. The automation tools and the rules further help me in sorting and filtering the incoming emails. As the regular and unimportant emails go to their respective folders, I'm able to focus on the critical communication in my main inbox. In addition to this, periodically reviewing these folders ensures that I don't miss out on anything important. Since everything is sorted, decluttering is not a big task anymore. But yes, I still feel a need to unsubscribe myself from unsolicited newsletters. Allocating some time every day to manage my mailbox keeps things easy and in control for me. But 
the nature of an account manager's job is such that you may any time receive an urgent communication from one or more number of clients that is why i said initially that inbox zero is definitely an aspirational goal but not possible to achieve at all the times question number 4 tell us about a time when you had to work closely with multiple internal teams to address a key account's unique needs or challenges now collaborating with the internal teams is again a situation that you will face in your life every day as an account manager that is why this question is also very very important to answer this question you can say well effective collaboration with the internal teams is one of the most important ingredients in the success of any account manager now the story i'm going to tell you here is from the time when i used to work for a security software company we had a valuable local partner in the uk distributing our software in the region our standard practice at that time was to provide a 30 days trial software to win over the corporate customers however our local partner pressed upon the need to increase this trial period by 15 days to demonstrate the full value of our software to the clients as the account manager i embraced this responsibility the project needed an approval from the management and then started the real work with the internal teams the teams involved were right from it to testing technical support and sales team i collaborated closely with them and we released the new build of the product in the agreed time this extended trial period became a game changer for our product in the british market all credit to the collaborative work and the clear communication among the teams and a reinforcement of the significance of collaborative team work in addressing the needs of the key accounts so i would say this is something really really important for any account manager and it definitely decides how successful they would be in their career okay and now moving on to the last question for today's video tell us about a situation where you worked with a vendor to identify opportunities for saving the cost or generating more revenue which increase the profitability for both the parties now see this is another situation that an account manager has to face every day i try to help by sharing an example from the e-commerce industry and the example that i'm taking is related to logistics and delivery what you can do is you can also pick up one such example from your own experience to answer this question let's begin by explaining the situation and the story that i'm going to talk about is related to our logistics partner the trend we were noticing was a continuous rise in the shipping cost the result was eroding profit for both of us and costly products for our customers being an e-commerce platform we are a data intensive company so we began by analyzing the shipping data to understand the patterns uncover the reasons behind the rising shipping cost and find a solution the analysis we did revealed two important things the first one was our shipping and delivery processes were ripe for optimization and the second one was by strategically consolidating the deliveries we could reduce the shipping cost i discussed both these things with our logistics partner and worked out a plan to implement it since it required some changes to be made at the system level too i collaborated with our it and testing teams to validate our approach we ran rigorous tests for 15 days and monitored the results closely the outcome was profound improved the profitability for both the parties and a stronger and more trusting relationship with our logistics partner so you see when you weave such real life examples into the stories and present them to the interviewers they take you a long long way in the interviews and they definitely make sure that you stand out as one of the brightest candidates during the interview so friends with this we come to the end of this video here are some practice questions which you can try to answer for yourself as you prepare to interview for an account manager's role I sincerely hope that they give you a direction to think in. If you found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends too. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.